Alexia Foodies. Happy Easter 2019. I am so excited to show you today. Pizza Russica stuffed pizza. It's a very savory crust filled with assorted meats. Today I'm gonna make it with parma prosciutto, salami, baked ham, and a beautiful assortment of cheeses. We're gonna do rogotta cheese, basket cheese, fresh buffalo mozzarella, and pecorino romano. So I think I hear my husband. I poured him a wine. Hi, Rob. <laughs> I poured you a wine. Hi. Wow. What's I knew you need this? it. I knew you needed it. Well, look who I uh, met out front. <laughs> Timmy! My cuz. Hi, How Timmy. Mwah! I'm so excited. He's coming today to make pizza rustica with us, right? That's right. And he's having twins, so we better learn to make two. <laughs> yeah, this will go a long way with the neighbors are outside. <laughs> Hello. My beautiful neighbors, Hello. Lynn and Dave. Hello. I love you guys so much. Wow. Wow. Spuyerel. And are those rogota egg biscuits? Yes, they are. Oh, baby. Hi, Dave. Now that's what we're talking about. Enjoy. Well, I got a, I, wow, you yes. brought wine, thank you. Well, guess what? These are my neighbors, so I don't have to call Uber. Let's open that wine. <laughs> so you start with two sticks of butter, salted butter, two cups of all-purpose flour, one pound, a quarter cup of milk, whole milk. We're gonna do a teaspoon of sea salt. Two eggs, that is it. We're gonna combine it all together. Make sure your butter is cold. We're gonna add it right in to my stand-up KitchenAid mixer with my dough attachment fave, love it. In the old days, they did this all by hand, but with technology, this is so cool. Just kind of like, you know, put it in and whip it up. Two cups of all-purpose flour. I'm gonna start it very low. When it starts to incorporate, we're gonna add the salt. One teaspoon, right in. We're gonna start it on low, and then we're gonna increase the speed. And now we're gonna add in our eggs. Two eggs. We add in a quarter cup of milk. If you feel that your dough is dry, you can add more milk. If you feel your dough is too wet, you can add more flour. So see now how it's starting to form? You need it to pull away from the sides and make a beautiful consistency. So let's put it on high for a minute to whip it up. I'm adding a little more flour. So the consistency of the dough, you can see it, it just lifts right off. It formed a beautiful ball. And this shouldn't be too sticky, so when you work it, it's not sticking to your hands. Look at that, it's just perfect. Perfect consistency. I think I need my cousin Timmy to help me out and get some saran wrap, because guess what? We're gonna wrap this now in saran we're gonna let it rest. Come on, Timmy. Right there. <laughs> Look at that. See how the consistency is, Lynn? Beautiful, yes. Saran. Looks like a you gotta practice for your twins. You're gonna make it the dough. All right, we're gonna wrap that right up. And we're gonna let it rest for about a half hour to 45 minutes. And then we're gonna roll it out. Rolling, rolling the dough. <laughs> I am here with my beautiful friend and neighbor, Lynn. I love so much. Thank you. Lynn, I am so excited to show you how to make pizza rustica. Are you ready? I am. This is how I roll, all right? So we just, we let the, the dough rest for a while and we are ready to rock. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. And this dough seems like it's Look at that very dough, it's beautiful, right? Yeah. So we're gonna start by putting some, we're gonna take it right out of the saran. Look how, See how this is? Oh, mm. it's very, good very good. So we're gonna put a little flour over here, right? Right on the counter. Okay. Spread it all out. And we're gonna put the dough down. Now, what we do is, because this is the top and bottom of the pizza rustica, everyone, that recipe that I gave you, this will make one pizza rustica crust. So we're gonna cut it right in half. It's like a heart for you and Dave. Aww. Aww. I roll it into a ball, Okay. all right? I hope no one expects you to make this on Easter. <laughs> you are gonna make it now. So we're gonna put a little flour. All right, and now we're gonna start rolling, rolling the dough. So we're gonna do it very evenly, mm -hmm. side to side. About All right. how thick do you want the crust to be? 
It's gonna end up pretty thin, okay. all right? See how nice it rolls out? Yes. So easy to work with. So I'm having Lynn butter the nine inch pie plate, get it all ready for the crust, and it's about to go down. <laughs> all right, we're ready. Beautiful job, Lynn. So what I do is I take the crust and roll it right onto my rolling pin. Look at that. It looks a little scary, doesn't it? But guess what? You put it right in like this. Let me show you, Alexia Foodies. Look at that. Oh yeah, baby. Beautiful. Right in. Beautiful. So we're gonna form it down and we're gonna cut the excess. Gotcha. Then we're just gonna pinch it down like this okay. and pull off the sides. What do you think? I think you want to get that ready? Yeah, sure. All right, Lynn, now we're talking. This is going to be the top layer. Then you don't have to add any extra flour on that. It's perfect. So good. It rolls out just beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now this is a lot of butter. Hey, but it's tradition. So we're going to set the top layer aside, and now we're ready to fill it with all those amazing ingredients. You're going to be really hungry. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start with some Parma prosciutto, my favorite prosciutto right from Parma. I went to Parma, amazing. And what I did was I had the deli slice it fairly thin, then I sliced it into ribbons. The next ingredient, sweet Italian sausage, which I already sauteed. And then we're moving on to the salami, which I cubed up, and then the cooked baked ham. I mean, like I told you, on Palm Sunday, I'd make the ham, cube it up. But in this case, I had to bake a ham early because I'm doing You Had Me at Kitchen tonight. So I cubed it up and we're gonna put it right in to the pizza rustica. So Dave, we're gonna start with the basket cheese. Tr take a piece. Delish. A piece. It's Should so, it? yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, what do you think? Delicious. It's like a regatta and a mozzarella mix. It's delicious. How much Very dry. It? Well, we don't measure, we're Italian. <laughs> we just put it in. No, so all seriousness, I do about this much. I don't know, what do you say? That's a quarter of a cup? I would say that. We're just adding everything in. There's no rules, just load it in. So now we're gonna go with the fresh mozzarella. You can't have anything without mozzarella. No, you Want can't. Want a bite? Sure I do. <laughs> I'm like, I'm the, like the deli at Stop and Shop. Want a, want a piece, want a slice, want a slice, <laughs> right? Okay, so we're gonna add the fresh mozzarella. Right in. Look at that. Now we're gonna go with the rigotta. Well, I can't give you a no, bite I, of that. I unless you get a spoon. No, I'll, I'll wait. So we're gonna go with about this much. I just throw it in, okay? Now we're gonna do some pecorino. Pecorino Romano, one of my favorite cheeses. Just sprinkle it in. Right in, all. right in. Now, Dave. Yes. How about some sausage? You wanna put it in? I'll put it in. There you go. How much am I put in? I would say, till I say stop. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, How's that? Perfect. That's perfect. Enough. Perfect. Perfect. Now, with the parma prosciutto, because this is a very salty, you know, dish with all the salty meats, we're only going to put a little bit because prosciutto can be very salty. See? About that much. Nice. About that much. And now, want to do the salami? I'll do the salami. Salami. All right. Say when. All right. A little more. When? All right. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And now we're going to do the cube tam. Now, <clears throat> what we're going to do is just add it right in. I can kind of tell. Look, perfect. All right. All, All right. right. So now what we're going to do is you're going to add in the eggs, and I'm going to okay. do cracked black pepper because the pepper really adds... I have four eggs, pour right in. Pour four eggs right in. Now we're gonna mix it all up. This is the filling that you're gonna need, everyone. So you can really add anything you want. Now Lynn, my neighbor and very good friend, said her family used to put artichokes in it, spinach, you know, different Mushrooms, vegetables. Yes. I'm sure you can add many different vegetables to it. I always grew up eating it more as a meat and cheese pie. So, I mean, the possibilities are endless. And that's the great thing about cooking. You can do anything you want, you know? Yeah. Experiment, try things, see what tastes good. Go with your taste buds, you know? So that's what I tell my Alexia foodies all the time. So now we're ready to mix. Look at that. 
We're mixing it all around like this. It looks delicious already. I think you guys are making this for Easter Sunday. But I'm gonna have to do it myself. <laughs> the basket cheese, that's the key. How's that? Keep mixing, Keep Dave. Mixing. All right. I see a little egg yolk. All right. <laughs> so now, as we're mixing, we see we might need a little more regatta. Okay. We're pouring the regatta. You, ne you need that consistency. You don't um, want it to be watery. You want it to be on the thicker side. So if you can put a spoon in that and it stands straight up or a spatula, you're ready to go. All right, when do I test? All right, test it out, let's see. Oh yeah! Beautiful. <laughs> we are in. So now we're gonna fill it up right into the crust. Press it down. Look at that. I wanna eat it right now. Amazing. I stuff it. I keep pressing it down. I smell Easter morning. Wow, that is beautiful. Look at that. So now we're gonna add the top of the crust right on. Roll it right on. Beautiful. And we're gonna press it down, form it together, and we're gonna break off the edges, the excess. We're gonna break them right off. And now what I like to do is I press the sides like this, and then I get my fork. What we're gonna do, we're gonna poke some holes so we can let it breathe, right? Right down the middle. And now what I like to do is I put some milk on top to help it brown. I just pour a little milk and I rub it. I massage the pizza rustica. Okay, we are ready to go into the oven. 350 for about an hour and a half until it becomes brown. You can smell that cooking in your house. Here we go. All right, Timmy, thank you. We'll see you in an hour and a half. In the meantime, let's have some wine. Is it ready yet? It is ready. Do you want to take it out for me? Sure do. All Smells right. like it's ready. It is delicious. I can't wait. We gotta serve this to our guests and we gotta let it rest for about a half hour. Put it right here. It'll be wow, perfect. Look at, that. look at that. Woo, baby. It is ready. I'm gonna serve this to my beautiful guest. Here we go. Here it I is, guys. Great. That, <laughs> that looks great. Looks delicious. Wow. Almost looks nice. too good to cut into. But less. I can tell the pot I did. <laughs> It has Dave and it has Timmy on the crust, right? Lynn on the rolling. And we're going to cut into this baby right now. So flaky and buttery. Ah, oh, I looked forward to this every Easter. Look at it, it comes right off. Look at that crust. Now that's Italian. Okay. So while my guests are enjoying my pizza rustica, I have arranged a beautiful dessert tray from the original Italian bakery. Sfugliatelle, rogotta egg biscuits, and cannoli, my favorite. I wanna wish all of my Alexia foodies a very happy Easter 2019. I hope you have a great Easter egg hunt. Enjoy your day with your family and friends. Thank you so much for watching. You had me at kitchen.